Welcome to the printed prop shop. So I know this is supposed to be about printing props, right? Um, and as you see, I don't have a lightsaber or a helmet or anything that I've completed. I was scrolling through a, one of my Facebook groups and we happened to have um, a group challenge. And it, the group challenge was just do a bust. Didn't matter what it was in the theme of, anything like that. So of course I went with Star Wars. Um, I'm not a huge figurine painter or a face painter. In fact, this is the first one I've ever done. Here's the video on how I did it and enjoy. Okay, so here we are. Um, I'm sanding the, I just finished sanding the first cape. I dyed that one in black. Um, I was hoping it would turn out darker. That was my original plan was to make a darker one, but it didn't really work that well. This one is for the clear one, this cape, and the cape's just set on there. Um, it had some nubs that need to be sanded, things of that nature. It just had scan lines. Here I grabbed some of my clear resin and I brushed it on. These little brushes you can buy on Amazon, Amazon dirt cheap. Um, they're really cheap. This works if you just sanded it and you've got a dull cover. You can brush on this resin, clear resin especially, and uh, it'll give you like a clear coat. It makes it really pop. Just don't put it on a whole lot. Um, it doesn't take much and it spreads really, really well. Here I grabbed some scrap wood from my scrap wood pile. I decided this kind of at the last minute. I wanted to uh, put a light underneath it because it was clear and I was doing two different versions, one clear and one black, and painted up. So here I took and uh, cut it up, or I, excuse me, I traced a line from my uh, square edge there and uh, that's where I was going to cut. And I just traced around the octagon of the stand. This was giving me just kind of a rough area of where I wanted to put that hole in. And the little lights that I got, I got off of Amazon a while back. I originally wanted to use them for lightsaber ends and uh, put a piece of uh, clear PVC or something on my lightsaber and be able to put that light in there and have it shine through. Um, I may eventually do that. Um, I still have, I think, six or seven of those lights left. So that, that's probably going to happen in the future, it's just not right now. Here I cut off uh, that piece of wood, uh, made my camera a little shaky. But here I wanted to find the center point of that stand, and it's an octagon, so I just went and did corner to corner. Just to find a center point that I knew where to put the center of my light at and the center of my hole. And uh, I'm kind of a guy who just grabs whatever straight. If it's straight and manufactured, I think it's going to be just fine. Um, and I went and just made my center point. The drilling process didn't go perfect. I just didn't have a large enough bit for that light. And I was hoping my second bit would be a little bit larger. But as you can see, it kind of kind of jostled me around. It, it took more control of me than I did of it. And it even spun the block of wood a little bit. But eventually, uh, with my first bit, I did get that hole taken down and made the hole wider to fit the light with um, my Dremel and a sanding bit with it. I did drill another hole from the side just to feed the wire out. Again, this is just really plain. This was a second thought um, or a last thought to do with this clear version. And all it really took was just a little bit of super glue to put that light in there. And as you can see, I've got that wire fed out the back. It's a nine volt um, light. So a simple nine volt battery will go right in. I've got my soldering iron out and uh, I can tell you I'm not 100% a pro with a soldering iron. I'm the kind of guy that knows a lot, knows a little about a lot, excuse me. So I know how to solder. I took electronics class in high school 25 years ago. I'm so dating myself. But the biggest thing is you want a hot enough soldering iron 
um, because I have seen them not be hot enough. And just be very careful. Stay away from the tip. Um, if you're too young for it, make sure you're supervised. And uh, just stay away from the plastic of the wire. And never do what I just did right there of pointing the soldering iron at your body. You should never do that. So don't do that. And here I'm just testing it. I apologize for the lens flare. It is extremely light, extremely bright. It is a very bright light. And here I'm testing it out a little bit just to see how it actually looked. It's really tough to tell right here, but I'll, I'll get a better shot later on. So, but the important thing is it works. It doesn't burn out and it does exactly what I wanted to do, wanted it to do. Here I'm uh, gonna go paint that block of wood, um, just masking off the light so I don't paint over that. And I'm uh, masking off the um, wire for the nine volt battery. The masking tape, you can pick up in any kind of hardware store, um, Walmart, Lowe's, Ace, wherever. It's just plain masking tape. And here I'm painting it a little bit. I used, um, I, I used two coats and this is flat black with primer in it. So it's actually more of a primer than anything. I'll tell you, wood really soaks paint. So two coats was just fine enough. This is going on my shelf with my other one. So it's not anything that I'm making for someone. And here is the black one. I unfortunately didn't get the airbrushing on it um, on film, but it's just a standard black airbrush paint. It went on fairly well. Here I'm trying to get the, the actual flesh color for Vader's head. And I did this by um, mixing flesh color with some white and some blue and a little bit of orange. And the reason is I'm not an aficionado on Vader. I'm not a huge, like, in-depth person for Star Wars and Darth Vader and the little, little things that go along with it. But I have to figure, when you see him on film, in uh, Return of the Jedi. He's very pale with a little bit of blue in him. And I'm figuring that's from the suit. The suit's probably typically cold to keep him cooler because I'm sure the suit would be hot. Um, not to mention it would be colder just to, just to preserve his flesh. Because I, I wanna say at this point he's He's like in his 50s or 60s at this point. I think that, that kind of makes makes sense. That it would be a little bit colder and trying to preserve what's left of him. But I, I painted it on just fine. It went on just fine. Um, I pulled out my smaller brush. I did a little chain around his neck. And the uh, little points on the bottom of his helmet piece there. Even a little bit of the chrome on the back. And I just used regular chrome paint um, that I had around, model paint. I'm not a master of painting miniatures, but this one turned out pretty good. I hid his scar, um, had a little, little bit of blue to him, and he's fairly pale. I did use this little tiny brush that came with one of my kits, um, my paint kits. And I, I did that underneath his helmet as well as far down as I could get and the rest is really unnoticeable you would have to pick it up and really examine it and it's not a again this is not perfect because I'm not not a master of painting miniatures this is actually the first miniature I ever did and here we are the finished model of the lit up one and uh, our finished model of the standard one. If you would like to go and make this as of filming this and editing it, this file is still available on Thingiverse for free. It's an excellent file. And uh, if you wanna challenge yourself to do this or just like bus, here it is, links below, enjoy. All right, so you've seen how I did it. It was pretty simple. Um, 
again, printing them out of the resin, the, um, I tried to dye it. It just did not happen for me. Um, but I'm extremely happy with them. They turned out very well. Um, and for my first time painting a bust, I think it turned out great. Um, I love the light up one of the clear, but I'm really happy with this guy. This guy turned out really good for me. Um, and I may end up doing some, uh, miniatures in the future to print or to paint up, um, just for practice. Um, I will capture them. And as always, you have the power to make a film in your pocket and it's called a cell phone. Take advantage of it. I wish I had it when I was way younger. I would have made a lot more films than what I'm able to today. And that's it. Have a great day. See you next time. I like making the lightsaber sound when I turn it on.